Hi, this is Miss Pulliam. Thank you for joining me for a story. The story we're going to read is a brand new one, just came in the day. It's called The Gruffalo. It is by Julia Dal Donaldson and Axel Scheffler. The Gruffalo. Here's the cover. Back a little bit. All right, let's check this story out. I'm excited. I love new stories. The Gruffalo. Before we go on, here we see it says Julia Donaldson, and then it says pictures by Axel Scheffler. So what is the name of the person that does the pictures? That's right, the illustrator. Very good. And Julia does the words, and she's the author. Okay. A mouse took a stroll through the deep, dark wood. A fox saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, Fox, but no. I'm going to have lunch with a Gruffalo. A Gruffalo? What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo. Why, didn't you know? It's a rhyming story. I love a good rhyming story. He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks and his favorite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox, oh my, fox said. Goodbye, little mouse, and away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. That's a wise mouse, isn't he? On went the mouse through the deep, dark wood, an owl saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Join me for tea in my treetop house. It's frightening, frightfully nice of you, owl, but no. I'm going to have tea with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo. Why, didn't you know? He has knobby knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Here by the stream. And his favorite food is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream. To it, to who? Goodbye, little mouse. And away owl flew. Silly old owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a Gruffalo. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. Oh, it's wonderfully good of you, snake, but no. I'm having a feast with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? His eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here by the lake. And his favorite food is scrambled snake. <laughs> scrambled snake, it's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse, and away the snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. Oh, he says, as a gruffalo. <laughs> the end of this page, he didn't say, oh, he said, as a gruffle. So he knows something's about to happen because he didn't finish the word. Oh, 
But who is this creature with terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobby knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange. His tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help. Oh, no. It's a Gruffalo. My favorite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this deep, dark wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see... Everyone is afraid of me. <laughs> oh, sure, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You lead the way and I'll follow after. They walked and walked till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the grass ahead. It's a snake, said the mouse. Why, snake, hello. Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh dear, he said, goodbye, little mouse, and slid right into his log pile house. You see, said mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. It's Owl, said the mouse. Why, Owl, hello. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo. Hoo-hoo, he said. Goodbye, little mouse, and flew right up to his treetop house. You see, said Mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear some paws on the path ahead. It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, Fox, hello. Fox took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse, and ran right into his underground house. The mouse said, Gruffalo, now you see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy is starting to rumble, and my favorite food is... Gruffalo crumble. Gruffalo crumble, the Gruffalo said, and quick as the wind, he turned and fled. So he turned and left in a hurry, and that's what fled means. He ran off. All was quiet in the deep, dark wood. The mouse found a nut, and the nut was good. And that's the end. That was a neat story. So, one brave little mouse with a big imagination doesn't think that the big Gruffalo was the scariest because he had a good imagination and he led everybody to believe that he was the, the scariest one. So he told everybody about the Gruffalo. And wasn't that funny when they went up to the animals and he said, get behind me? Well, of course, they're going to look at that little mouse and they're going to look behind him and see this big, big Gruffalo with the big yucky teeth and the terrible horns and everything else. And of course, they're going to be scared. So he was pretty wise. Wise mouse. I hope you like this story. I've got so many more new stories I can't wait to share. Um... Please tell your parents to fill out the parent survey and keep an eye for more stories because I've got lots of great ones for you. Until next story, keep reading.